since I was a little kid, I've always loved science. So I am so excited to introduce my new science bud, Sarah Habibi. <laughs> to do science today. As I am. So you are a science like presenter, communicator? Yeah, science communicator. What does that mean? I love taking like complex science concepts and breaking them down into little bite-sized pieces for parents and the public to understand. I love that. And I do it through experiments because who doesn't love a good science experiment? I love, that's honestly why I like baking because I was like, science you get to eat? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. 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 I yeah. love that. So this is a great way to keep kids entertained, right? Yes, it is. And it uses a lot of items that you can commonly find in your home. And so it's super accessible to families at home. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, speaking of families, our first experiment is actually a special request from 10-year-old Charlotte. Hi, Mary. I'm Charlotte. I love to play with slime. Can you teach me how to make it at home? First off, Charlotte, excellent. Voice so polite. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. Yes. Let's do it. Let's make some slime. I am so excited. And talk about the science behind it. I love that. I hear slime is like the thing. It is the thing. Everybody's losing their marbles over slime. Kids, adults, everyone. Yes, okay. And so let's, let's do it. Let's but go. our slime has a twist today. Oh, we'll okay. get to that in a second. Okay, perfect. Okay. So we're gonna start by adding our glue into our bowl, okay. okay? And so we're just gonna empty the whole bottle in. And the fun thing about glue is it is made up of these long strands of polyvinyl alcohol. They're essentially these long strands that make it this stringy, gloopy, texture. Gloopy is definitely the Gloopy, word. Gloopy, yes. yes. But those strands, in order to stick them together, mm -hmm. we need some help from a few friends. Okay. And those friends are going to come from our our baking soda and our contact lens solution. Oh, what? Yeah. Okay, I yeah. love that. So the first half of what we need comes from our baking soda, mm -hmm. all right? So we're gonna go ahead and add one teaspoon of baking soda into our glue. Okay. And in here, like I said, we have a half of what we need. And so what we really need to stick those PVA molecules together mm -hmm. is something called a borate ion. Ooh. And so, yeah, ooh. And so those <laughs> borate ions, those come from the mixture of our baking soda and our contact lens solution. But oh, you can, cool. You can see here, it's not getting gloopy yet, right? No, it just looks like baking soda and glue. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and that's because though the baking soda, it needs to be activated. Okay. And we activate it with our contact lens solution. Okay. Yeah, I know. Stay with me, Mary. It's, it's you're gonna see the slime come together. No, if, is there something that isn't, like for people who wear glasses and are scared of contacts, is there something else that works in yeah. place of this? Yeah, so instead of your contact lens solution and your baking soda, mm -hmm. you can instead add a borax solution. Oh, so okay. that's like a, you use that for washing. Yeah. Or there is a slime activator solution that you can buy fully on its own that you would add instead in oh, place cool. of it. And how exact is the measurement? The, it's not as exact. You can add a tablespoon. You saw I just add a little yeah. dab. <laughs> or you measure with your heart here, like when you're cooking. It's like a, it's like a biscuit recipe. I love exactly. that. Exactly. Okay. And so we're gonna mix it together, and right away you can see it's starting to clump together, and that's because that oh. contact solution. Yeah, that contact solution is starting to. <laughs> Isn't that so fun? That is excellent. Okay. So that solution is causing those long strands to stick together and form into this glue. Can and I touch it? Yes, please. Oh my I am going to go ahead and I am going to get my hands in there too. So fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and the fun thing about this, yes. It's just so long. I mean, who doesn't love to play with this? Honestly, this is excellent. I could do this all day. <laughs> As I could. And the fun thing about your slime that we're making today is this is a special color changing slime. Do you see your hands are turning pink now? Yes, I do. Yes. So that's because inside this glue is a pigment called a thermochromatic pigment. Okay. And so it changes color when it's exposed to heat. And so the heat from your hands is causing it to change color. And if you add a little bit more contact solution, it'll goop that up. That will goop up more and get it oh, there you sticking go. on your hands. Amazing. Fun fact for parents at home to prevent it from sticking, just add some more solution. That's that's perfect. I'm gonna keep playing with this. And now we've got that. a super quick experiment over here. And now we've got here. a really fun experiment next. And I love it. Again, using all materials that you can commonly find in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. For this one, we are taking, we're doing a spin on a classic volcano mm -hmm. experiment. Mm -hmm. We're using some baking soda. We're using some vinegar that we have here. And Instead, we're gonna do it inside a watermelon. Why not? Why not? When in the fall, you could do it in a pumpkin. In a pump, 
I yes. love doing this. Yeah. Pumpkin. You carved out the pumpkin. Oh, that's another thing. Amazing. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some baking soda. Okay. And I'm just going to pour it in for ease here. I love Again, that. Again, we're measuring with our heart here. And then we have our vinegar. All right, so Mary, what color do we want to do today? Let's do purple to match purple. my new favorite thing. I love it. Yeah. Purple <laughs> vibe. Let's make our purple volcano. And so here we have vinegar, we have baking soda. When those two are mixed together, mm -hmm. we're going to create what is a carbon dioxide gas. Okay. And that's creating all these tiny little bubbles that want to escape outside of the volcano I mean, or the let's watermelon. Do let's this do it. Thing. Are you ready? Yes. Do the honors, Mary. All right, let's all right. go. One, three, two, three. Oh, oh wait, no, three, two, one. <laughs> Audience, would you like to three, two, one us? <laughs> go. Three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa. That was excellent! Oh my gosh, mind blown, so Sarah. Fun. Thank you so much. We have to take a quick break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.